Hello everybody, Leon Kish is here. Today we are in Alps, in the High Alps, in Germany. And we are going to the Schrecksee, the highest lake in Germany. And uh, if you looked at my last video, uh, if you didn't uh, check out the link above, I'm gonna post the link. And uh, I am here again to photograph that lake because last time I lost my camera and I couldn't do it and today I have a uh, other camera which uh, could do that same job and it's the uh, new Canon M50 it's a nice little camera it uh, can make uh, similar images like uh, the 70D which I lost last time and this time I want to make maybe a better shots uh, with the Alpine Marmot too. Those are very very sweet animals. I'm here with some friends. Hi. <laughs> we are halfway upwards and uh, I'm gonna make a video how I'm gonna make that uh, landscape shot and I hope that we're gonna see some wildlife today too. If you want to photograph something like this or to make a video and uh, you have that glare on the uh, water surface and uh, the shiny uh, water surface, just use this polarizer. It's a polarizing filter and it's gonna make your shot, uh, it's gonna erase that glare and uh, it's gonna make your shot 100 times better. Check this uh, trick out. Now it's very shiny, look at it now. Much better. I'm finally here up on the mountain and I'm at the lake as you can see this camera has the same sensor like uh, the 70D uh, it's a APS-C sensor and uh, luckily I have this uh, 50 to uh, 45 millimeter lens on it and I can um, make a number of shots, I don't know, maybe seven or eight, and stick them together in a Lightroom. I'm gonna show you after uh, how, do, how do I do that in the program. And first to take those shots and we're gonna see how it turns out. I put a polarizing filter on it so I can make uh, those clouds in the water uh, go away. I'm gonna show you how it's made. You see those clouds? Look at it now. And 
they are gone almost so I put I saw uh, 100 F11 and uh, 1 16th of a second 10 second uh, timer because it's not a steady type tripod so I need a little more time to get to stable Hey everybody I'm uh, uh, watching now there are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six uh, chamois. I don't uh, know how to pronounce. Those are those uh, wild goats, uh, goat slash antelopes. And I want to go down and to take some uh, video uh, with my uh, tavern and uh, to take some shots. And and uh, last time when I was here, uh, I saw that. Uh, uh, those uh, alpine uh, marmots also are also there, uh, the colony lives there. I came here to uh, make some uh, marmot shots, but these goats are also very good, so I'm giving a chance and I'm going down. I think I made some great shots. The goats were awesome, like pro posing there. But the uh, marmots are very shy, but it's very hard to get closer. They are very, very shy. They are going fast in the, their holes. They won't come back. These chamois are awesome. They are big animals. You can feel your sensor with the animal so you can make a big picture yeah I think I made some great shots So I'm done today with the vlogging and everything. I'm too tired and now I have to go here somewhere where this little village is. It's uh, very far away and I have to be careful down, downwards. There are lots of uh, big rocks and uh, mud and it's uh, a little bit uh, uh, how do you say, wet down there and yeah, slippery all the way down. So that was all for today here 
at this mountain and we are going now to the PC to show you how I stitch my photos together in uh, Adobe Lightroom. It's a real cow party here. It sounds very crazy. Listen to this. So, I'm back at my desk and uh, I want to show you how I stitch uh, these photos together in Adobe Lightroom. So, we have here we imported nine photos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. We have here nine photos and uh, we need to stitch them together. Uh, first, I'm gonna stitch them together by clicking on the first and then holding shift down and then clicking on the last. I selected all the all these photos and you have here in the photos menu photos merge and go to panorama it gonna literally do the whole job by itself and you see the photo is stitched together I choose auto crop but if you want to crop by yourself do it as you wish so now it's putting it together so when the Lightroom is done we have a photo like this so we have peoples in these in these photos you see here is a man and what are we gonna do we are going to develop and to erase all the people from the picture by choosing this uh, cloning brush like this back here you can choose what do you want to see in that part you see it's better better than to have a part of that uh, uh, dark green grass it's better to have a similar grass this equipment is also gone then these guys here Shrekze is a very popular place, you see people are swimming here. Lightroom did a great job automatically. If I see some errors like uh, this little yellow spot here above, then I'm just fixing that little spot.
now that all the peoples are gone from the photo I gonna uh, crop it a little bit I want these mountains to have a little more space to breathe so that's why I'm raising the photo high so as you can see I was literally uh, shooting direct directly in the sun and uh, that's why I have a blown out sky here but uh, when I was uh, photographing in the camera I was under exposing my photo so I, I didn't want it uh, to have an uh, overly exposed photo here because it was very sunny and this part is overexposed so I'm just uh, I, I lower the uh, highlights all the way down I can uh, raise the contrast a little bit I don't need clarity because the photo is very sharp maybe to give a little vibrance to the colors now it looks similar what my eye saw on that day so that was all it looks very nice and it's a little tip I wanted to show how you can erase the people out of your photos and uh, to make it uh, more natural uh, when it's uh, maybe a very uh, popular place for tourists and there are 30 tourists swimming or uh, sunbathing uh, in the field then it look it don't look so nice and you can very easily erase them and stitch the photos together to make a beautiful panoramic photo so that was all if you liked it like it if you disliked it dislike it uh, if you like this content, subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye!